And so far, most of the cases reported in the U.S. have been mild, but the public's response has been anything but. Panic has spread along with swine flu, and now many are starting to wonder whether we're overreacting. To understand the response to the current crisis, it helps to look back at past outbreaks for some perspective. Here's ABC's John Hendren. I don't need another flu shot. The warnings were harrowing. A swine flu epidemic may be coming. It could make you very sick. Betty's mother gave it to her best friend, Dottie. But Dottie had a heart condition and she died. That was the last swine flu outbreak in 1976. Health officials then feared a repeat of a 1918 pandemic that killed 40 million people. President Ford's response was a national vaccination program. It's often cited as a case study in how not to respond to an outbreak. One American died of the virus. 30 are believed to have been killed by the vaccine. Hitting that sweet spot between overreacting and underreacting is very difficult, and it's particularly difficult with flu pandemics. Only 19 states have confirmed cases, but 21 have closed schools. Utah has no confirmed cases, but Salt Lake City canceled its Cinco de Mayo festival anyway, apparently because the holiday is Mexican. Are governments going overboard? Congressman Ron Paul, a doctor, says yes. Way overboard. Hysteria prevails. Paul strongly opposed the failed 1976 vaccination program. I think more harm will come from this attempt to calm the spread of this infection and the infection itself. With video of people in face masks plastered on TVs and the World Health Organization raising the alert level to five out of six, it all seems scary. But the WHO scale actually measures a disease's reach, not its severity. And few health officials see any need for surgical masks. Some doctors say they're overwhelmed with symptom-free hypochondriacs. Antiviral drug prescriptions are up 900 percent. And now everybody's wondering, every time you start <coughs> coughing a little bit of a runny nose, do I have swine flu? It's hard to say when a response is too much. The aggressive response to the 2003 outbreak of SARS is credited with limiting deaths worldwide to 800. We have to have some tolerance for overreaction. We're talking about human lives. That concern has many politicians and public health officials saying better safe than sorry. For Good Morning America, John Hendren, ABC News, The White House.